Hey everybody, it's James from WealthQuest. Hey, I want to spend some time talking to my pessimists out there. You know who you are. The people who are always convinced that they're in trouble, that they're falling behind. You know, as I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of families over the years, I seem to see this theme where people always assume the worst. And part of that I think is rooted in our own survival instincts that we always feel like we're in trouble and we got to somehow get ahead. But I think we've got even more of that built in simply because of comparison. There's always the family or a collection of families that are ahead of you, that are living a different life than you are. That's always going to be the case. And one of the things that I think we internalize is that their success somehow means our failure. But that's not true. Their success has nothing to do with our success. And so what I would encourage those of you who have this mental framework that we're in trouble, that we're failing, that we're not going to make it, I want, to start asking, I want us to start asking the question, where's that coming from? Why do we feel like we're failing? Why do we feel like we're falling behind? Because most of the time when I work with families, what I find is that the reality is nowhere near as bad as they think it is. And so if we can start to define reality in the context of what success for us looks like, not necessarily what success for another family might look like, what do we want and where are we in truth in, in reality, how much ground do we actually need to make up? Are we really behind? Are we right on track? Once we can start to have more confidence around our true position, we can make the decisions that we need to make in order to catch up. If there is a gap, we can close the gap. But the first thing we got to figure out is what is the gap? How big is it? What needs to happen here? And a lot of times we don't do that work. We just sit in that thought of we're in trouble and we're going to fail. And so if that's you, I would encourage you to start having the conversations that you need to have with your advisors. Start digging in to that fear, that worry that I'm failing, and start closing the gap. Start understanding the work that needs to be done. Now, we're going to be talking more about this on this podcast this week. We're going to be diving into what do you need to do if there is a gap that you need to close? How do we make up the ground that we've lost? And so if you're interested in that, please tune in. And again, if there's other con conversations you want us to be having, other topics you want us to dive into, let us know. We're always interested in making sure we're talking about the things that are valuable to you. We hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next week.